at Erda, we've just celebrated 30 years as our fellowship's uh, humanitarian ministry. Now, by saying the word humanitarian, we do run the risk of forgetting that our call is anchored in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Do good, seek justice, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Our call is rooted in the call of the gospel. All we do as a fellowship through Erdo, uh, we seek to follow Christ into the difficult and dark places of the world and into the pressure points of people's lives. It is there that we discover that though we go to serve, we in turn are served and blessed. As a fellowship, we are able to do more together than we could by ourselves. Some of the 2013 results that we achieved together include, firstly, our crisis response. We operated 18 disaster response programs in 10 countries, coming alongside 109,000 people. Whether it was in the Pentecostal Assemblies of Bangladesh, uh, supporting victims of the Rana Plaza building collapse, or responding to a, glo a global disaster as Typhoon Haiyan, where we immediately responded with food relief, hygiene kits and cots, and are now engaged for the next year in the rebuilding of homes, fishing boats and economic livelihoods. In our food assistance programs, over 95,000 people were helped in 12 countries as a result of our work together. 20,000 children are fed every day in schools in Honduras, Bangladesh and Zimbabwe by partnering with local churches or our Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada global workers. I was struck by the fact that one of our global workers recently said, we're so happy to have the school feeding program. Children aren't uh, fainting in the class anymore. In our child sponsorship program, one of the great joys this year was to see Child Care Plus grow to over 7,200 children, putting us much closer to our 2020 goal of 10,000 sponsored children. Not just because of the numbers, but because behind each sponsorship is a relationship, some very close, but each one significant in the life of a vulnerable child. A small and growing part of our work together is clustered under the term community development whether it's one of the 17 wells that were drilled or operating agricultural training programs or demonstration farms or the almost $500,000 that was loaned to women in Congo through our microfinance project. The work in Congo has increased money spent by families there on food by 47%, on school fees by 17%, and has raised average weekly income by a staggering 127%. As we've just heard from Murray, we can measure our activity, our seed, and we can employ our best thinking to ensure that we help in meaningful ways. But in the long term, we do need to leave the increase to our Lord. This is the church in action, our congregations here, partnering with the local church overseas. It's as we enable our sisters and brothers in the Lord to deliver care in the name of Jesus that we extend the, the witness and the work of the local church for all you've done to further the cause of Christ and extend his love around the world. Please hear from us our deepest thanks. God bless.